I basically have got to film an intro, but today I'm going to do some model skin and red lips. So the first thing I'm doing is um, wet look hair. So I put volume mousse through my hair using my, I'm not really sure what it's called, but it creates waves instead of curls and hold it in my hair for 8 seconds. And then you'll see that I'm going to take it out and then I'm going to, as I wave the next piece, I'm pushing the other wave up to help it stay in place while it cools down. I think this just looks way better for wet look hair, for like model hair. Um, than curling and brushing it out because it's just way less frizzy it's easier it takes less time it just looks a lot more natural um i'll link the tool that i'm using down below because i really can't remember what it's called as you can see there i'm scrunching my hair to sort of make the waves stay in and to make it a bit more messy and then this is what it looks like after it's all done and then I'm going to get some, um, I'm not really sure what it is, it's like holding mousse, styling mousse, whatever you want to call it. And just run that through my hair to make it look a bit wet and to keep everything in place while I'm doing my makeup and for photos and things. I have middle part of my hair here but you can part it however you want but this just frames my face better. And then I'm going to clip my hair back to keep it out my face while I'm doing my makeup. You'll be able to see the next thing I do is moisturise my face and this is the most important part of this like whole look because it's dewy on your skin so you need to make sure your skin's really moisturised and this will just create a really good base for the rest of your makeup. The one I'm using is Aveeno because it doesn't irritate my skin. And I'm going to put some eye cream under my eyes. Um, I think this really just helps my under eyes not to crease between concealer and powder powdering which is quite far away from each other in this routine. And then I'm mixing some primer and some liquid highlight together because this primer is my favourite, it's the Smashbox primer. But it's not, it's quite matte and obviously we want glowy skin so I mix that together and put that all over. Um, if you don't want to, or you want to prime and use liquid highlight separately, that's fine. Or maybe if you've got a illuminating highlight you can do that too. Um, but liquid highlight, especially for these sort of looks, really does help underneath the foundation because even if you wear a matte foundation you can st still see the glow from underneath. You'll be able to see next that I'm going to um, colour correct my face because this is really important for HD makeup, runway makeup, model makeup, whatever you want to call it. I'm putting orange under my eyes which kind of works the bags and then I've put green on some red areas and blemishes and things. Um, this is the most crucial thing, one of the most crucial things because if there's cameras, you take photos close to your face or whatever, you really will be able to see anything under the skin, especially because the coverage that we're going to do is not heavy. Um, I'm putting liquid foundation onto the blemishes just to give that bit of extra coverage where I need but on this look we don't put foundation all over the face unless you feel like it's really necessary because it can just look cakey. Um, I'm patting it in with a foundation brush because I feel like this is the best way. Um, sponges absorb all the foundation, some other brushes make your foundation look streaky but if you tap it in with a foundation brush it gives the same smooth over smoothed over effect as a sponge but it doesn't absorb any of the product. I'm putting a, a cream foundation under my eyes here and I'm going to take it all the way up to my brow bone to create a fox eye look but naturally rather than using eyeshadow and then again I'm blending it with a foundation brush because I feel like it just gives a really nice finish on the product and then I'm putting that onto any blemishes as well just for extra coverage obviously that we don't have from the foundation all over the skin. I'm mixing two contour colours together, cream contours, and just putting that on all of the contours of your face. I feel like for these sorts of looks, cream products are definitely better because it creates a natural dew on the skin rather than powders, which can make your skin look quite dry and caked sometimes. Um, this is what I'll be used on like runway shows and things like that as well. Um, obviously, if you've got oily skin, I'd maybe add some powder products or maybe powder before you do any of these. Um, it's really important to make sure you put the contour right next to your eye up to your brow bone because this again will create the fox eye look without sort of making it look superficial it makes it look a lot more natural and then again I'm going to tap it in with a foundation brush um, this is quite time consuming but it does make it look so much better than if you were going to 
do search and emotions with a buffing brush or something like that or a sponge um you'll see me use this foundation brush so much in this video because it, it genuinely is the best thing i think I want to make sure that you blend the whatever's left on your brush to your eyelids because this will really open up your eyes. Next I'm going to use cream blush. I'm using a pink shade and an orange shade to create like a natural cheek look rather than you know solid colours. Um, all the way up to the high bits of your cheekbones. Um, this is really important. It'll make your face look so much brighter and natural. And a little bit on the end of your nose is a substitute for highlighter because you don't want to put highlight on the end of your nose which you won't see me do because it'll attract light there and if someone looks at you or if you're taking a photo or anything that's where the main focus of the look will be we don't want any shiny noses um this is me putting liquid highlight on because powder highlight i feel like sometimes can make your pores look bigger than they need to be and especially in a look like this where it needs to look really natural and subtle for the skin um liquid highlight definitely does a better job than powder highlight does and also it just makes your skin look naturally glowy rather than superficially um, I'm putting it on my cupid's bow and on the places where I need definition. It's really important to define any features of your face, whether you like them or not, because it needs to look supernatural, um, rather than trying to define your face into something it's not. And then using powder to sculpt my cheekbones rather than contour powder, because it's always better for looks like this to use lighter colours than darker colours, because um, it'll obviously cut your cheekbones out without having really dark brown lines on your cheeks. Um, and then I just use whatever's left on the powder puff to tap into anywhere where I feel like I might get oily wear or the light's catching it wrong or anything like that just to make it a bit more matte because you want to look glowy but you don't really want to look oily or shiny and then I'm having a break because quite clearly I need to wait for my powder to dry and I was obviously tired and then using a big brush just to get away all the powder that's on my face and just to blend everything together really nicely so when it all starts coming together after it's been on your face for a little while uh, and then after this I'm also just going to take a little bit of loose powder on the brush and just tap it into my under eyes but not bake them just really lightly dust them to set them a little bit and then I'm going to do sort brows because this is the most popular um, eyebrow thing at the minute on Instagram and obviously within fashion and things so I just rub my spoolie onto the soap with some setting powder until I get a paste and then I brush it through my eyebrows and press my eyebrows down with my finger as I go until you get the shape that you want. This does take quite a while um, and it can be quite frustrating if you can't get it right but practice really does make perfect with this. It's not one of them things where you can just do it straight off the bat but it does take a lot of practice. And then obviously you can see what they look like here. Um, bronzer, powder bronzer is the only powder I've used on my face um, across my eyelids to just contour my eyelids a bit, make them stand out, you know. Um, make them match the rest of my contour cheeks and everything eyelash curlers sometimes you can use eyelashes for this sort of look but it depends what you're going for um the most common one to use with this sort of skin and like lips and things like that is um individual lashes but i didn't want to put them on today um so i'm just putting mascara on if you've got naturally long eyelashes you'll be fine anyway but just make sure you don't have clumpy eyelashes because that is the worst thing you can possibly do for this look because then it just looks really unnatural um, so in a minute I'll, you'll see I'll go through with a, I don't know what you call it, an eyelash separator, an eyelash comb, I don't know. But one of them and separate all my eyelashes. Make sure none of them stuck together and then I put mascara on my bottom eyelashes. We're going to do a signature red lip for this look which is very popular at the minute. Um, I'm just using a normal any red lip liner around the lips. You can probably hear my dog, I'm really sorry. Um, all the way around the lips and I filled my lips in with them because this just makes it last so much longer um, and gives your lips a more even look. Um, you can overline your lips a bit if you want to, but you don't have to, it's just whatever you feel comfortable with. And then you'll see that I'm gonna use a brown lip liner or you can use an eye pencil or anything around the very edges. Um, it just gives a bit of an ombre look without being too defined on your lips. And then I'm using the MAC liquid lipstick, I can't remember the shade all over my lips this is definitely my favorite because of the way it dries there's no smudges or anything like there's no transfer when you're eating or drinking and it really does last a long time I'm 
then taking the clips out of my hair and I'm going to put some sea salt spray into my hair which gives it a really nice wet look um defines the waves it looks really nice all good <laughs> um or you could just use hair gel or something like that hairspray that usually works or even just a little bit of water depending how long you can leave it on for this is me just feeling myself a bit done the makeup looking good yes yes so if you like this video make sure you like and comment and subscribe and comment what you want to see next